The only time it respects people's opinions is when people boycott shit and it works, like this Bud Light thing. Yeah. Then And now people are like, don't do that again. Yeah. Like, be careful. Because look what yeah. happened to Bud Light. Well, who controls Bud Light? That's the question. Why would they make a dumb decision like that? Are they trying to ruin Bud Light? And why would they want to ruin Bud Light? Are they trying to take down some of our most iconic American brands? And why would that help? I don't think they were trying to. I don't think they had any idea this was going to happen. It's this uh, ESG thing that everybody has to dedicate a certain amount of their time to, you know, woke stuff. Who, who, man, who mandates that? It's a good question. Where's the ESG money come from? Is that uh, government? Like, where does that come from? And it's they, they have scores. And the, the ESG score of your corporation determines what you get. And the problem is also you get these people that are coming out of college, like this, this lady who made the decision for Bud Light. You know, she's gone through the university system. She's in the corporate system and she's a woman and she thinks, you know, we have to be more inclusive. And that's all the language everyone's using today. Yeah. So they don't know any real people. They don't know regular people. They have Mm -hmm. no idea that if you take a brand Bud Light, which is like known for, you know, blue collar drinking people, that they they like to fucking watch football and drink Bud Light. And then all of a sudden you have this mentally ill person who's just an attention whore. (laughs) <laughs> and you make a big deal out of putting this person's 365 days of womanhood. You put that on a Bud Light can and they freak the fuck out. Yeah. And then Kid Rock shoots a bunch of them and then it's on. Once Kid Rock shoots your cans, you got real problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure 